Happy Thursday from room 1224. I'm Riley Kramer. And I'm Mallory McDonald. From last week's walkout to this week's spring signing, here's everything happening at Northwest. April 20th marked the 19th anniversary of the Columbine shooting, where two students murdered 13 others in a Colorado high school. Along with the recent school shooting in Parkland, Florida, students were encouraged to walk out in the name of remembrance and protest last Friday. Ron Stanley and Ben Whitney have you covered on what happened, but more importantly, why students walked out. Silence. It is a powerful thing, a form of memorial so moving that one has to just stop and look around. This is how ONW students put their respect on display for the fallen students of Parkland on April 20th. So it's just us uh, demonstrating our First Amendment rights. You know, this is uh, something that I'm passionate about and it sees that, you know, my peers are passionate about too. Many of ONW's most outgoing students, like Evan Svetlak, helped to organize the event so that everyone could feel included. Yeah, um, we had to make sure that everyone was on the same page because there's a lot of people who wanted to have like their own opinions and their own ideas of what today should be like. So we tried to be able to incorporate all of that also um, with the administration, make it as easy on them because they were very uh, willing to work with us as well as anyone else who had. While some found the protest disrespectful or inferred that the students walking out were standing for political change, organizers wanted to make their actual motive very clear. It was all out of respect. It was all out of love. Our movement today was never about guns. It was about bringing us all together and showing love. For ONW Now, this has been Roan Stanley and Ben Whitney. Yesterday, ONW held the 14th Annual Senior Signing Assembly to showcase the graduating class and all their achievements through scholarships. On behalf of the senior class, I would like to present Mr. Zook with the book of the 2018 Senior Signing Ceremony. Attending. Over $14 million were offered through scholarships, and if you missed the assembly, check out our YouTube channel to watch the entire live stream. Congratulations to the seniors, and we can't wait to see your bright futures. This week, geometry students gathered outside for a unique activity. <laughs> Using the skills they have learned throughout the course of the year, the students did rockets and crafts to launch off and calculate the height. Different groups of students had the chance to create unique rockets and have a little friendly competition to see whose rocket went the furthest. It's great seeing math we learn in school applied to real life situations. Awesome work, Ravens. Keep up the good work. Addison Smith and Sarah Miguel are back at it again with another edition of the Hollywood Rave. Let's send it their way to see what's happening in entertainment news. What up? It's your girl Sarah Miguel and this is Addison Smith. We're here to give you all the details on all the Hollywood gossip these past few weeks. Let's get into it. Cardi B is expecting her first baby with fiancé offset from the dynamic trio Migos and fans across the nation couldn't be more excited for baby Barty. She revealed her pregnancy on SNL while singing Be Careful, a song off her new album that talks about Offset's possible infidelity. Hopefully the couple can work through their problems and we are excited to see what the future holds for these two. Ew. Speaking of cheating, Tristan Thompson was spotted cheating with several other women. This comes out right after Chloe was rushed to the hospital to give birth to their baby girl. The couple was supposedly together during this important time, but the family is beyond upset with the basketball star and is focusing on the new baby right now. Chloe has also confirmed that she named the baby True Thompson. John Cena is on the market, ladies. Him and his ex fiance Nikki Bella, have called it quits. The couple has experienced several arguments on what they want in the future together and have not been able to see eye to eye on certain problems. Nikki Bella revealed to her family about a past marriage that John was not aware of and they have also disagreed on having children in the future. Coachella, more like Baychella. Beyonce made history as the first black woman to headline the music festival. Beyonce had special appearances from Jay-Z, Sister Solange, and a reunion from Destiny's Child. Seeing Destiny's Child made me lose my breath, but I'm a survivor. All of these moments happen with a marching band right behind them. I don't know about you, but Beyonce should definitely headline every year. And that's a wrap on this edition of the Hollywood Rave. We're your hosts, Addison Smith and Sarah Miguel. Catch you on the flippity flop. Let's take it over to sports for a recap on all things sports here at ONW. Welcome back to Game Day Northwest. I'm Nick Lopez. Today we have updates on soccer, swim, baseball, and tennis. The Lady Ravens soccer team played a late the East High School at Seaback on Tuesday. They defeated the Hawks 2-1 with Mia Hake and Malia Schinkel both scoring a goal. The girls look to increase their winning streak tonight against Shawnee Mission West at Seaback at 5. 
The Lady Ravens swim and dive team had a meet last Tuesday at PRT. It was senior night. The Ravens took second overall in the meet. The, med the medley relay of Lauren Pugh, Hannah Fuller, Abigail Shankly, and Jaden Branstrom took second. Brayton Van Updorp took third in the 200 free. Jaden Branstrom took first in the 50 free and qualified for state. Emily Copeland and Maddie Fenneman took first and second in diving, and Emily sent a new school record in diving as well. Jaden Branstrom and Molly Maples took second and third in butterfly. Lauren Pugh took first in the 100 free. A Abigail Shanklin and Macy Schrandon took first and fourth in the 500 free. Lauren Pugh took second in the 100 free, and the 400 free relay team took second as well. On Tuesday, the Lady Ravens softball team faced Shawnee Mission Northwest at Shawnee Mission so Softball Complex. Emily Bowman took the mound for the Ravens. The team struggled to put up runs early, but that's all right. They rallied back in the sixth to tie the game at nine apiece. Allie Kukowski came up clutch twice with two hits to keep the Ravens in the game. The Ravens also had many key outs from the dynamic duo of the middle, Tori Simpson and Mackenzie Claus at shortstop and second. But after a questionable strike three call to end the game, the Ravens fell short to the Cougars 10-9. Their next game will be tonight against Shawnee Mission South at Seabeck. It's also senior night, so make sure you come out and support your state champs. The baseball team play, played at Shawnee Mission North. The Ravens dominated the, Indian, the Indians, winning 9-4. Leading the way was the ace, Brady Walker, pitching five innings, giving up one hit. Stellar performance from the D1 commit. The Ravens are up in action next Tuesday at Seabeck. The tennis team played in the Olathe City round robin on Monday. The Ravens tied with Olathe North with 10 overall wins on the night. The double consisting of Luke, Ra Luke Raglan and John Lindsay did not drop a game over the whole night, going 4-0. Tennis takes the court next Friday. Be sure to cheer on those Ravens. Thanks for tuning back to Game Day Northwest. Now back to the desk. Seniors, Project Grad is an awesome all-night party after graduation at Dave & Buster's. Bring a completed permission slip to buy your ticket outside the Raven's Nest, May 1st through the 4th during Raven 50. Scholarships for tickets are available in the office. Sign up for Project Grad Remind by texting ONWP to 81010. Contrary to popular belief, we Ecom students don't sit around all year and do nothing. You have the chance to see all of our hard work in the comments from 5 to 7 tonight. That does it for us today. Be sure to check out the Raven Minute every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday for your quick dose of daily news. Also, come support your Lady Ravens lacrosse team on May 2nd for their senior night. For ONW Now, this has been Mallory McDonald and Riley Kramer. Have a good, great weekend.